What's your favorite memory of Bristol Jiu-Jitsu? <laughs> competing, competing and feeling like I'm in high school again. And being with the best damn crew in Bristol. In Bristol. <laughs> in the world. <laughs> it's amazing to see how much this place has grown in the last, what, five years? Five years now? Holy cow. Anyway, just going from this tiny little group yeah. of people on the other gym, on the homemade That's mats, into the huge group that we have now. It's really cool to see. On my third day, I hopped on Logan's back. Had no idea who he was. He had no idea who I was. As soon as my legs touched his thighs, he beat me up for about 15 straight minutes. And that's when I knew this place was my home. <laughs> my favorite uh, memory of Bristol Jiu-Jitsu would be all the uh, friendships and relationships I've built here so far. Um, it's been very rewarding, all the camaraderie we have here on the mats. Uh, we've got a good group of guys and ladies, um, and that's what I enjoy most of Bristol Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, everything about it. All the guys, all the camaraderie, the help. <laughs> Just everything, it's awesome. My favorite memory of Bristol Jiu-Jitsu is, uh, you know, when me and a bunch of the guys you know, and girls go to these tournaments, you know, and <clears throat> put our hard work and, you know, uh, hard time that we spend on the mats training to the test. And, you know, the whole the whole team comes out, you know, you know, medal and gold, so bronze, whatever. Uh, it just really shows, you know, the kind of the kind of work that, you know, we're putting in over here. Favorite memory with Bristol Jiu-Jitsu is just hanging out with all uh, good friends that I've made through the few years that I've been here. The lifelong friendships. I would have to say that the day-to-day -day hard work, that's probably like my best memory since being here ever is the day-to-day -day hard work because it gives me um, a reason to push myself and a reason to learn every day. So happy birthday, Bristol Jiu-Jitsu. Thank you for everything that you've done for me and my daughter. I'd say one of my best memories is being choked out by Professor Taylor and making dinosaur noises and gargling and then him so graciously going to an arm bar to finish me. <laughs> So, I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I have a memory my first week or so, getting my elbow uh, taken home by Taylor Griffin. <laughs> he took it home. Uh, Still there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I swore that day that at some point I would kick his ass. <laughs> Has and it happened? It's not happened yet. <laughs> but it's coming. They're not, they're not still young. So, I don't just have one, but uh, it's kind of like a family and friendship that coming home after my third tour it's been great so they're all family accepting it's been awesome probably just a a collection of them it's just a bunch of good people to train with a lot of fun uh best memory would probably be uh the very best memory probably would be my first stripe yeah yeah gives you a sense of accomplishment so my favorite memory here would probably be when I won my very first IBJJF white belt and you threw me my blue belt on the podium. That's probably it. Uh, one of my favorite things about uh, Bristol Jiu-Jitsu is the kids class. I got uh, three kids that train from ages five to eight. And they love it, they look forward to coming to it every day. It's uh, amazing, Coach John is just great with the kids. He's supportive, goes to competitions with them, coaches them. Uh, he's my little boy's hero. You know, they just love coming here every day. Favorite memory is the first day I walked in the door. Everybody was so welcoming, and it's uh, the best gym I've ever been to. Uh, everybody, everyone is real eager to work with you and help you out, and there's no uh, no egos. So that's the main thing to me is just the camaraderie of the training. Um getting crushed by Lee and Sean Rufer and Judo. Basically just getting crushed by all the big dudes. Yeah, and um, Logan trying to get me to do his crazy YouTube videos and crap. And um, they're a bunch of swindlers. <laughs> they try to get money out of you in any shape, form, or fashion. Hey, let's shoot free throws for a hundred bucks. Uh, once you run around the gym naked. Um, basically for their YouTube content. <laughs> and everything else. But they have a pretty cool um, um, RV. That's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, yeah. so far, um, pretty cool people here. Um, the minus, Griffin, minus the Griffins. Minus those Griffins, yeah. <laughs> Gotta watch those guys. Go. Getting collar choked out in my first, first time I ever went actually black. So it was a lot of fun. My favorite memory of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is the ones that have been knocked out of me. The what? The ones that have been knocked out. Uh -huh.
The memories that have been knocked out are your favorite. I'm choked out of you. And any, do you have anything sentimental about Bristol Jiu Jitsu? Hey, the style of training, the hard training. Getting to get that fight in. Oh, the high fives, dude. The high fives, dude. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of high fives. You never get the high fives as much. Dude, I hate it when people. It's awesome, dude. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> oh Lord, we had practices for five years now. You're better than you started. I, I am, but I don't know what I'm Good. supposed to say. <laughs> You're on. Give me a prompt. <laughs> Go. Um, give me. Come back to me. I can't. You're the last person. All the I am. The, you can even talk. About Some of my favorite memories of Bristol Jiu Jitsu are when we had this tiny 6 a.m. class, and it was just like me and Matt Cobb, and we would just roll all morning. It was the best way to start the day. And now it's just, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not even a good memory. <laughs> Go. I'm not that guy. No, I've done it for everybody. Oh, give me a second. Okay, one second. <laughs> give me a minute. Okay, 60, 59, 57, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 30, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 28, 27, 26, 25, 